Hi, this is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will talk about lists in UiPath, how we'll create them, how we'll add items to them, and how we'll print them and manipulate them in all sorts of ways. So first we will uh, create a sequence. We'll drag it in. We could name it lists. Tutorial, like this. And I will strongly encourage you to open UiPath yourself and do the operations while I do it, because you learn a lot about them. Then pause the video, it's designed for that. So um, first we will uh, need to create a variable, the list variable. So we we'll, could call it list. Then the variable type, that will be a list. So we'll browse for types. I'll drag it down so you can see it. Then we will search for list here. And then we will choose the system collections generic list of T in the M sorg lib. We will have to um, choose the variable type. We can choose integer, uh, string, object, boolean, and we could choose for other types. Uh, for this example, we will choose string. But just so you know, you can choose all kinds of variables. Then we will click OK. And now we can see we created the lists. And we need to add some items to that list. So uh, first we will need to assign, use assign activity. I know it can sound a little bit counterintuitive because we created it here, but we need to, to assign the list to actually to a new list. So what we'll do is we'll type in the name of our list. That's just list. And then we will, um, here we will type in new, then list off like this, string. So this one will uh, assign that our list will be a new list of string. That's it. Now we can add items to the collections. So we could uh, search for add to collection here, drag it in. I think we will add to start with three items to the collections. So um, the first one, uh, we should specify the collection. That's just the name of our list, list here. The item, that could be anything uh, we want to add, but it needs to be in the string format. So let's add messy to the list. And uh, the type argument, that will be a string like this. So now this one will add the first item, messy to the list. Then we could make another one, same, same procedure. So it will be the list, the item. We could choose another name like Ronaldo here and a string. Now here we added the two uh, names like hard coded in text, but we could uh, try the third one uh, with a variable. So we will create a variable down here. We will call it just string name. So this one, imagine that this is a dynamic variable which could take on different values like you will use in a process, but we will uh, give it a default value. That will be Jensen, like this. So hold on, let me mark this. And then we will uh, code it into this add to collection or we will specify it actually. So um, again, we will choose list the item that will be the name of our variable. So that will be the string name here. So remember that um, this one will uh, put in Jensen in our, um, in our list, but uh, if it was some other name, then it will be like Lewandowski, then it will be that name uh, to, to go into the list. So the type argument again, string. And now uh, we'll, we have added three, or, it's, or if when we run it, we have added three items to the collection. So let's uh, see them. To print out things in a list, we cannot uh, print like the whole list, like with a with a white line or a um, or a message box or something. We'll need to loop through the list with a for each. So for each here, and then it will be for each item in list like this, we'll just delete this body. And then we will have a right line. So we write, so for each item, we will make a right line. Search for a right line, drag it in. And then it will be item, 
and then we need to convert it to a string so to a string like this we will run the file then the robot will run and it will print uh, out the results to our output we can see that uh, execution started and it printed out the three names in our list Messi, Ronaldo and Jensen so um, let's uh, try some of the other collections functions the exist so um, exists in collection this one will ask if an element uh, exists in their collection and uh, um, then it will return a value so um, let's uh, the collection that's again our list and the item let's say that we want to search for Jensen remember that it's the Jensen that's in our list it's not the str name but it's just the variable name so it's the value of that variable that's in the list so we will search for Jensen which we in fact know it is in the list and then we will create a variable here control k like a boolean value so um, so we'll just bool exists we could call it enter and then change the type argument to string so what this does it, um, it search through the list for the name Jensen and if it if it finds that in the list it will uh, set the bool exists to true otherwise false so uh, but we can we, we need to see the value of the bool exists to see if it works so we will use another right line drag it in and then we will just um, take the bool exist and again to string like this and let's try to run that we will go to output and we can see that uh, it returned the value true so um, we could uh, have uh, written some text here uh, saying that Jensen exists in our list like this then it we will have some text in front of it uh, but we could uh, find go by just the value because we know what it is let's try to remove an element from the collection so which one should we remove Ronaldo or Messi or maybe just um, the Jensen so we will take the remove from collection here then um, we need to specify again the collection that's just the list and um, the item that's a um, that's the, the item we want to remove that will be our, well this take Jensen I don't think he belongs there <laughs> and then uh, it will be a string again so we will remove this from the collection we could um, make uh, again we could make a boolean again so if we removed it it will be uh, true or false however we won't use it but uh, just bear in mind that this exists so now so first we say if it exists and afterwards we remove it so we won't have printed Jensen now in, the, in our print down here let's try that we will run the file and in the output we will have a click here we can see that uh, first it uh, it exists uh, it says that it exists in our list that's true because we have it up here and but in the print it's removed because we removed it from the collection here we could also um, clear the entire collection and that's uh, the clear collection activity we could drag it in here then we will just need to specify what collection it is that's the list like this and we will need to again type argument string however we won't find out uh, if we cleared or or not but we can uh, again use a for each to go through our list here for each item again in list and then we will write a line to write our items out again right line drag it in here and then it will just be item to string now you know the drill and then I think uh, what we will do here uh, we will take another right line just here saying that now we cleared the list so we will know in the lock that we cleared here so we should not see any names after this right line let's try that run file 
And in the output, we see that um, still uh, Jensen exists, then we remove it, we have the two names, Messi and Ronaldo, in the list, then we clear the list and we see that uh, this one won't print anything. So uh, that's fine, it works, and bear in mind that you could use the same procedure with integers or whatever variable type you want. That's it for now, thank you, bye bye.